Okay, I guess first thing, how are you doing physically? Uh, are you all the way back, or how are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great physically. I'm officially 100% back, so it's been it's been a long journey getting there, but it definitely felt good to be out there again. How disappointing was that? Because you're having a good year and all. Um, yeah, I was pretty disappointing. Just. I felt like I was just getting better each week, each week, and then for that to happen was pretty devastating. But I mean, just continuing to pray and just do what I needed to do. And I'm thankful to have a great training staff who just guided me through the whole process and got me back to where I needed to be so I can be out here today with my teammates. As Ben goes through Pro Day next week and getting ready for the draft, have you been able to pick his brain about being the leader in the room this year? Um, yeah, me and Ben have actually talked a lot just about me stepping up. Um, what he did, what he felt like he could have did, and then just talking about um, what he's doing, the draft process, how the team's looking now. So, yeah, I've been able to connect with Ben a couple times. Do you feel like that helps, or how much does it help to have someone you're close with be able to walk you through what you need to do? Um, it helps a lot. I mean, for me, I've been able to kind of sit back and kind of see other guys go through it, especially him being behind him and work, being able to work with Ben, and I just kind of – once he left, now it's just an easy transition for me to step up and be the leader that I need to be. So, Any uh, first impressions of Sawyer? Um, Sawyer's great. I think he's definitely stepping up as a leader. I think he'll definitely push the rest of the quarterback room. I think they all will, but yeah, he's definitely doing great. Probably. Is he a pretty vocal guy? Yes, he is. He is. He's um, not afraid to talk. I mean, from day one, he came in here just talking to all the guys, being loud, being vocal, stepping up, just doing what he can to make an impact and just kind of gain our trust, so yeah. Trey, I know they brought in one, the transfer maybe, and then some freshmen, but are you expecting to be kind of the guy in that tight end room? Um, I mean, yeah, that would be my goal. Right. I think everyone is, and I mean, that's what makes it special, the competition. I mean, we're all looking to push each other and make each other better, and I'm, it's good that we have numbers now. We can do, do more things on the field with more tight ends. So yeah, I think it definitely makes everyone better. How do you think the, the games last year where you kind of broke out um, in, that, in that stretch there before the injury, how, how did that kind of prepare you for this moment right now, uh, kind of stepping into a bigger role? Um, I think it just gave me the confidence, just knowing that I can do it at a, top, at a high level and just going into this spring ball, like knowing that their, their team is going to need me to step up and that you are capable of going out there and making plays and being the guy. That just gives me the confidence to play free, but also be able to bring guys along and just impact others. Yeah. After going through an injury like that, how does your perspective change when you take the field each time? Um, definitely don't not take it for granted. I mean, being out, I mean, that first week when I just had surgery, watching the guys play OU on TV, just me and my parents in the room is definitely one of the toughest experiences, just like not being able to be out there, knowing that um, kind of I was on the incline and just kind of going through that. But definitely makes me a lot more grateful if I wasn't already before, but for sure now. Was it your ACL? Uh, no, it was my fibula. So I broke, I broke my fibula and then had like a little ankle sprain or whatever. So they put like, got like a surgery with like a plate probably like six in, five, six inches long or something like that, tie rope around my ankles, all that good stuff. But it's definitely, it was, a, it was a painful process, but I mean, getting back, I'm just glad to be back right now. Speed come back? I mean, are you feeling fa as fast as always? Uh, yeah, I am actually. I mean, I, it, was a, it was a grind just going through workouts and stuff, just not feeling all the way right. And it's, it can get frustrating just knowing that you're still not there yet, but you're trying to keep up with the other guys. But I think, just going out there each and every day, just getting used to it, being back on my feet again. I think I'm definitely um, back where I should be, if not stronger. So. How long have you been to that point, you feel like? I'd probably, probably a couple weeks now. I mean, the first week of workouts was rough, just kind of getting myself back in the swing of things. But after that, really, I say getting in shape was the hardest part, just being back out there with the guys. But. I think um, as the weeks went on, I've just gotten more comfortable. And, yeah. Drake, what can you say about Blake and then kind of meeting Sawyer and learning about him a little bit more? Um, I think Blake is a great leader. He's definitely stepped up. And I think um, him and Sawyer are going to continue to push each other. Um, all the quarterbacks, even RJ, I think they'll all do a good job of um, pushing each other and making each other better and making everyone on the team better. And it's definitely nice to have numbers and just seeing all them um, compete and be leaders on this on this offense and this team.